guys, it is currently 10.20 a.m. I've actually been up for a few hours. I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning because I had a security alarm person come over to reset my alarm and everything because my security alarm went off a few nights ago because we accidentally turned it on and we didn't have a code or anything to disarm it. So it was literally going off for an hour and it was so loud and it was so awkward. We had to contact the police and it was just a whole debacle but we managed to fix it and then today the security alarm person actually came to reset the whole system so i can actually use it and i have a code and everything which is really really good so that is what happened this morning and today i'm going to be hanging out with shelby which i'm very excited for because i finally get to give her her christmas present so we're going to do a little gift swap and we're just going to have a really chill day she's actually going to be coming over so we're going to hang out watch some tv play some cards against muggles but yeah that is the overview for today I'm actually gonna go make some breakfast because I'm hungry and then I'm gonna continue editing my vlog and I will probably talk to you guys again when I'm with Shelby. I'm so tired. editing which I'm very excited about but Shelby's gonna be here in like 20 minutes so fingers crossed I'll be able to finish it all within 20 minutes because then all I've got to do is edit my thumbnail but I've also had a shower and gotten changed into some comfy clothes I'll show you my o OTD in the mirror so this is the fit for today super comfy this top I think is from cotton on and the shorts are from Target very cozy vibes which I love also really random but I've been really obsessed with this petal party body mist from VS Pink. It smells so freaking good you guys. Highly recommend if this is still at VS Pink go smell it because it smells amazing. But yeah I'm just really excited to see Shelby today and just have a little bit of a chill girls day catch up hang out. I've also got her Christmas present here as well which is unfortunately not wrapped because I didn't even get around to wrapping it but I got her King's Cage from Victoria Aveyard which is part of the Red Queen series because we've both been buddy reading that. But one thing I really want to work on in 2022 is making time to hang out with friends and have a proper social life because in 2021 and 2020, my social life was so bad. I mean, we're in a pandemic, so there's not really much you can do, but I really want to prioritize obviously socializing and making time to spend time with people that genuinely make me happy. So Shelby and I are hanging out today and we've already scheduled in in a hangout later on in the week as well. So very excited for that. She's here. Hi, you look so nice. So Shelby and I are about to do our annual Christmas gift swap. And my present is not wrapped, so I've just hidden it on the dining table in the last place Shelby would look for it. Okay, you can open your eyes. Oh my God. Please tell me you don't have that no, already. I don't. I don't have this book yet. I'm so excited to read this. And Merry Christmas, by the way. Thank I just you. stick it that I kept coming off. Something from Pandora. Okay, I'm excited. I hope you didn't, you didn't get Wait, it. Wait, am I meant to open it this way, all right? Yes. Wait, this was literally on my Christmas wish list. Yes, I thought, no, because I remember we saw it like online, we want a call. Yeah. And we're like, like oh, I'm kissing how much you wanted it. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go get it for you. Like, I don't know. No, no one got it, it for me. No, oh my God. I literally wanted the Rapunzel one. So Shelby got me a Pandora charm. And this is Rapunzel, who is my favorite Disney princess. It's so cute. And this is literally on my Christmas wish list. Mm -hmm. So, oh my God, it's so pretty. And I like that you can actually see the Purple as well. Yes, that's what I loved about it. Can you so see the pebble like, on the clouds and on the dress? Oh my god. That's my tapioca pearls all warmed up. Ow, it's hot. I keep burning myself. Can you feel it? No. <laughs> okay, ow, now again. It doesn't specify how much ice to pour. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got that. Ow. Put as much as in there. All right, we've got the ice and the boba pearls in here. We're just mixing it up. I've got the black tea sachets. Okay, so we just made our bubble teas. Shelby doesn't have boba in hers, but I've got boba pearls in mine. Can we do a taste test? Yes. Yeah. 
It's actually pretty good. It actually is though. Mm. I didn't get any pearls that time. It's a lot more flavored than I expected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pearls are soft. That's good. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, what brand is it again? Yeah. Avalanche, tea avalanche or something. So this is the one we got and we both really like it. It's, it's actually got so much more flavor than you would think. So update, Shelby and I have literally just been watching The Simpsons. I finished editing my video. It is scheduled to go up in one minute. Oh my God. We bought this together like years ago mm -hmm. and we're only using it now. Let's play Cards Against Muggles. Let's do this. It's our first card. I popped down due to Dementors deserting Azkaban. It will now be guarded by Drunk Seamus. I put down the difference between book run Weasley and movie run Weasley. <laughs> what? I popped down. I can't believe Harry got Harry Potter got away with using magic to enslave your classmates. Fair enough. I would Jesus. do that. <laughs> I know you would. Um, I can't believe Harry Potter got away with having worse love life than Aragorn. <laughs> be so funny. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I've got after seven years, Lily Evans finally fell in love with James Potter. After Lily Potter. After herself. I could have put something else down, but I was like, I thought that would be funny. No, that's a lot. That's funny. <laughs> that she just falls in love with James after she was getting over herself. I'm having nightmares while I sleep. How could I ever let you in? I just finished hanging out with Shelby. It was such a fun day playing Cards Against Muggles and just hanging out and catching up. But at the moment, I have actually just arrived to Kmart and Target to do some home decor shopping slash window shopping. I want to pick up some succulents and just other little home decor bits and bobs. So I thought I would take you guys along with me. So let's go. All right. I just finished my shopping at Kmart. I also wanted to go look at Target because they have some cushions on sale, but unfortunately they were closed. Um, so I was only able to go shopping at Kmart and I didn't even buy anything. Oh, actually, well, I did buy one thing, um, which you guys would have seen I was looking at. I picked up some salt and pepper shakers and I got these cat ones for $3.75. It's so cute. I got these because I'm obsessed with Garfield the cat and these are literally orange cats. So I thought they resembled Garfield. So I thought, oh, this would be fun for the house. They also had a dog one, which I was stuck between choosing the dog or the cat, but I ended up going with this one just because it looks like Garfield. I've literally been eyeing these for months now, like since like before I even purchased my house, which is so funny. And I finally have it. But yeah, that is the only thing I picked up from Kmart. <laughs> Update, it has been a few days later. I didn't really vlog at the past couple days because I was just really busy with work and also I didn't really get up to much anyway. However, my IKEA bookshelf finally came and I put that together last night and it looks so good. I'm in the process of like organizing it at the moment. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. At the moment, I'm in the car, if you couldn't tell. My mum and I are going to Bunnings. We're gonna do a little bit of plant shopping Oh, we're not really plant shopping. We just need to get some stuff for the plants that we've got at home. Seasons will fly by and friends will make you cry. The world will change before your eyes. You'll toast with champagne and make many mistakes that will keep you awake late at night. But know that when the going gets too hard, you'll have me and the stars. from Bunnings. I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. I'm actually currently just sitting at my desk and it's such a hot day today. So I've just had my windows open and it feels so nice. But um, yeah, I ended up picking up some plants and I will show you guys that they're just currently in my garage at the moment. And oh my gosh, you can see my bookshelf in the background. I'll show you guys like a proper look at it in a sec. But yeah, I only just got back home just before. So I'll show you guys the flowers now. They'll be in the garage. Also, I got some gorgeous flowers gifted to 
me so shout out to Tina, Steph and Damien. So I got a bunch of these really pretty flowers. They're so gorgeous and I just have this on my vase at the moment. Kind of matches. So these are the other bunch of flowers I got as well. These I'm actually going to take upstairs to my bedroom and have them sitting on my bedside tables. I love having fresh flowers in the house. They just give such good vibes. Here is a little Bunnings haul. Sorry if this is really echoey. I'm in the garage. That's why. But I mainly just got some hybrid roses. None of the roses have actually like bloomed yet. This is my first one. This is how it's going to look like if you can see that. It's a hybrid tea poetry. It's like a peachy white rose. Super pretty. I have this little rose here as well. I'll see if it's got a photo to show you. So this is what it's going to look like once it's bloomed. A pink rose. How freaking gorgeous. Then I've got this red rose which actually we do have one like as a bud at the moment and it's going to bloom which I'm very excited. So they're just classic red hybrid roses. And then this is the last little plant I got. I have no idea the name of this. I forgot to take it down but it's really cute. I thought these would look really nice next to my lavenders which I am also still yet to plant. And I also got some potting mix as well because I want to plant all these roses onto the ground in my front yard and backyard. Okay now I can finally show you my bookshelf. This is from Ikea. I think I got this for about 179 Australian dollars. I'll have it linked down below as well if you guys do want to check it out. I am still in the process of organizing it as you can probably tell because I've still got two shelves empty which is awesome because that means I can go buy new books but so far I'm trying to like color coordinate it so this is my favorite section because it's all just like pink girly summer vibes. I have this book it's on display because I think the cover art is just so gorgeous and yeah that is the current situation at the moment. Up here I really want to pop my pop figures on top because I think they would be so cute to have on display and I've also got this hanging plant as well. These are just leaves that I got from Spotlight and I just like stuck it into like this Reggie form cube thing and put it into this plant and it looks so good. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out and I actually have all my pop figures in this box right here and I've also got some Harry Potter illustrated books that I need to pop on the shelf so I'm gonna pop that on the shelf now. I just placed my pop figures on top of my shelf. They look so cute. I definitely want to get more to fill up this whole row and maybe even pop some in between the bookshelves as well. But yeah, here's a little Funko Pop collection. I've got Garfield, Patrick Starr, Jenny from Gossip Girl, Luna Lovegood, Draco Malfoy, Hermione Granger. This did come with like a potion cauldron as well, but I don't know where it is, so... <laughs> <laughs> She's just over there. And I've got Ron and Ginny. What's so funny is Harry is the main character and I don't even have a Harry Funko Pop. Like, yeah. But <laughs> those are the Funko Pops I have. And I also placed my Harry Potter illustrated books down here as well. So I've got Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban over there. And then I've got Harry Potter History of Magic like on display. So excited to finally have a bookshelf because I've just been storing my books under my TV unit and my bedside table. So it feels good to finally have a proper bookshelf. And I just love this whole setup with the cubes. I just think that it's a great way to kind of split it up. And I'm just loving color coordinating it. So I just had an Amazon package arrive. And I am so confused because I haven't ordered anything off of Amazon recently. So am I expecting something that's just like being delayed? I'm so confused right now. So I'm going to unbox this and see what the heck is in here. Because I'm so confused right now. Oh, it's a book. Okay, so it's a book, but I'm confused because I'm currently on a book buying ban this month. Oh, okay. I think this might be a gift. And I think I know who this is from, but I got Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This is actually on my Amazon book wish list, which I actually recently made public and is also linked down below. I am so excited to read this because I have been wanting to read this for a while now. And this is a gift from my beautiful friend, Alicia. And she just said, I just had to, I am loving this 
one so far and I think you will too. Love you girl from Alicia. Thank you so much Ali. I appreciate this so much. I literally was not expecting this at all but I'm so excited to read this because you're reading it and this is one of your favorite books at the moment and I love any romance novels at the moment and I've been wanting to read this for a while and this is gonna look so cute on my little pink section of my bookshelf. I will hopefully get into reading this one soon. At the moment I'm reading Heartbones by Colleen Hoover which is like a summer romance book and it's giving me all the summer vibes and I love it so far so I'm almost finished that one and then after that I really want to start Sunkissed by Casey West so hopefully after that I will get into reading this. But yeah anyways for the rest of the day I don't really have any plans. I don't really want to go out because it's really hot. I'm glad that I did my Bunnings trip in the morning when it was like a bit cooler but now it's just like afternoon and the afternoon sun is hitting really badly and it's just so hot. I might do some bullet journaling because I'm currently very behind on my 2022 bullet journal so I need to do that and I also want to start a reading journal but I don't think I'm going to do that today because I need to finish doing my actual bullet journal first. So if I don't get up to much I will either vlog tomorrow but I don't really have any plans tomorrow either or if I don't end up picking up the camera again I'm just going to end the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to my channel down below because I post new videos every week and follow me on my social medias as well and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Love, love.